Hey guys, it's me Courtney and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing this makeup look that is inspired by one of my favorite artists of all time, Aaliyah. <laughs> I grew up in the era of Aaliyah, of Missy Elliott, of Timbaland and Magoo, all of that. Even now, I'll still watch some of her videos and get a little bit sad because honestly, like, it's just, it's so unfortunate. It would have been awesome to see what she would have been able to do um, with her career. So this particular look comes from the We Need a Resolution video. Um, this is the one where she's like in all blue that's sitting in that like bubble chair thing. And minus the lip because like it's kind of smearing at this point. <laughs> um, I think it's actually kind of wearable. Well, I'm gonna wear it today. But uh, yeah, so without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get into the video. First, I'm going into the color Coco Taxi from Reina del Caribe and packing that all over my lid. This color isn't super pigmented on my skin tone, which works for this look because we only need a hint of color to help us blend. Next, I'm using Tropico from the same palette and patting that pigment onto and above my crease. We're gonna dip back into the yellow color and place that at the edge of the orange color we put down. and into the inner portion of our bridge. Then I'm blending everything out. Next, I'm using a dark brown pencil liner to line up my top lash line. I don't recommend pulling on your eyes like this, but you know, it is what it is. Once we're all lined up, we're using Cafecito to smudge out that top liner. Now that we're done with the top of the eye, I went ahead and finished the rest of my makeup. Be sure to angle your concealer so that drawing out the wing will be a little bit easier. For the record, I did go in with a brightening powder to brighten the center of my face. Then we contoured. Then I went into both Coco Taxi and Tropico and carved out the top of my nose contour. Next, we're blending that out with a clean brush. I'm going to use light blue eye pencils, one matte and one metallic. Using the matte one, I'm going to start in my inner corner and lightly pull my pencil downward to extend the inner eye corner. Then I'm going to fill in my entire waterline and connect it to the inner corner liner. And begin to flick it out on the outer edge, creating the outer lower wing. Next, using the metallic blue, I'm gonna trace over the outer wing and waterline. Using a sharp, flat brush, I'm gonna start flicking that liner out a little more to sharpen up the wing. I went into the ColourPop Dream Street palette specifically for this metallic color right here and used that same flat brush to add a little more iciness to the look. I went ahead and added my lashes, then went in with this shimmering orange blush from Sephora. In this particular look, the blush is gonna be there, but very subtle. Next, I went in with highlighter. This look doesn't really call for much highlighting, but for my personal sake, we added it. Now for the lip, I first went in with my Kylie Lip Pencil in Brown Sugar. Next, I used Amber from Anastasia Beverly Hills to get the glossy look. For the coral looking color, I used Reve from ColourPop. Then carefully place the color in the middle of my bottom lip with a pencil brush. For extra shine, I used the Fenty Gloss Balm in Diamond Milk just on the high points of my lips. 
And here's the final look. That about does it for me guys. Hopefully this video was helpful, entertaining. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video if the mood suits you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>